Hello! Here we go again. Let's continue working on our dust game. Um, because, yeah, 19 days, 7 hours, 36 minutes, time keeps going on. And there is a lot of things to do, so yeah, last session was uh, very good. Let's see if I can repeat the success of last session. Um, so for today, I plan to do the flying enemy, uh, which is the bat. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to make, I mean, the flying enemy. I'm not sure if I'm, going to go, if I'm going to make another flying enemy, but yeah, we're running out of time. Um, and there's a new enemy I forgot about that we probably need to add, which is the, flat, the time monster. Um, so what is the time monster? Um, when the time runs out, um, we have two options. Uh, well, there are more options, but my two favorite options is, well, in reality is one, the one I like, but you know, the easiest one is you run out of time, I kill a life, you know, you lose a life, respawn, and we set the clock. But that tends to be a little bit unfair because you could be losing a life before the time runs out and then you lose another one. And that tends to feel a little bit unfair. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a simple sprite uh, of an enemy that is going to change the player on the screen when the time runs out. And that enemy is going to ignore the walls, you know, like move for a period of time, then stop when a period of time stop. Um, and if you complete the stage by collecting all the gold, that enemy disappears. If it kills you, well, it's on you, you get another minute. You can keep playing, right? So that's what we're going to do. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I mean, it's not essential, but yeah, I think it's slightly better and it should be easy to implement. Um, another thing I have done off camera, you know, on top of the usual drawing things, uh, is that I added some some small details in the make file and a few things to actually. We're going to use uh, lead mic mode for the for the audio. Um, should be okay, so I can play a mod file. I mean, I've been reading the documentation somewhere here. And seems to be easy to use, and it gives me plenty of things that I can use. So we can pl play a uh, probably a four-channel mode uh, as a background music. We can also have all the tunes we're going to to use in the same mod file because they can choose the pattern. So yeah, it looks very fl flexible. I think it's going to be perfect. And you, we can also add sound effects. I haven't tried it. I mean, at the moment, it is uh, it is being linked and it's doing everything as expected. Actually, I just noticed something that I don't like. I mean, it really doesn't matter, but... Uh, no, that's not a problem. This is okay. So I guess the problem is here. Yeah, because I said local environment here, so that slash at the end it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Anyway. Okay. So yeah, I have decided to use Libmic mod, which is I think it's going to be all right. I still need to make some tests. Uh, because yeah, I don't, we don't, ha I don't have time to to implement the Sound Blaster myself, and I don't know if this one is going to work or how it's going to work. So, I, it's likely that I'm going to make some tests off camera to see that it works the way I expect because that's the only thing that I'm not sure. And if it works, then it's fine. I I don't mind adding the sound effects and everything, uh, you know, doing the plumbing, um, doing the stream. 
Um, cool, so yeah, let's work on the bat first and then I think we can do pickups, probably not all of them, I'm not sure, it depends how, how the day goes. And also the keys and the doors is still a little bit, I'm still unclear what I'm going to do with that, if anything, but let's see, let's see how far we get. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, already when I was uh, drawing things here, I already draw things in a way that I can't use with the entity system we implemented. Uh, because the entity, the entity system uh, basically requires frame information and all this stuff. Um, so I was thinking, you know, I can draw the gem and then have an overlay with the bling effect. Uh, but we can't because basically we can we can't do multiple layers with this entity system, which is fine. I mean, seventy two lines is a very short entity system. I think it's going to pay off to be making it simple, which means that you know we need to do other thing, you know, some things in a slightly different way. But I think that's okay. So we're going to use um, I'm going to use the bat the the snake. Uh, as base um, mostly because it's the only enemy we have so it makes sense right so let's do that which is going to be oh no what oh, did I do uh, no yeah there you go so yeah we're going to re just replace some strings like this because it's going to have the same functions uh no the bat there you go um and that's pretty much it so okay so the frames are going to change and, and it's also going to be, let me think. Uh, we can use the uh, direction from the entity structure just fine. It's just that the bat, it doesn't have left or right. It's always look, looking front. So yeah, we can duplicate that and that's fine. So the first frame is on um, 6432. So 6432. All right. So should be 76 and then, okay. 80. There you go. And 96. So close. But at the same time, completely wrong, isn't it? Okay. Oh, we also had a limitation that we decided that it's going to be four frames on each direction. We can change that anytime. But the more enemies we do, the more painful will be. It's okay. We can still do it, but I don't think you know if it's kind of a reasonable let me get that window out of the way i'll be back there you go so yeah i only have one screen so sometimes i leave things behind and yeah it's not stuff i want in the in the, in the on the stream right Okay, so yeah, I mean, for, for sprites is fine, but that's the limit, right? We can't have more than four frames for the entities, which I think is going to be all right, because with four, we have definitely the a walk cycle just fine. And actually, I can close this one, because we are not using it. Um, so that's going to be fine. Okay, so we have the frames then 
they need is just assigning the frames and the update function, which I wonder now if we really need this in it. Uh, I guess we do because, you know, we have, there will be, there will be other enemies that are going to use, for example, flags or perhaps gravity, I don't know. So we might want to set up those things in the init. So yeah, it makes sense to have it in the render unit. So what is the bat going to do? Oh, there you go. One thing that is going to be different, right? So, so we're going to have uh, up zero. Now it's going to do it like that. So up is going to be zero. And then, yeah, I don't know. Which one do we have preference, up or down? Maybe it doesn't matter. So E uh, flags is going to be uh, let me check something. Um no ba, 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 ba. Yeah. I mean we could be just taking into account one bit, but it's okay. I think it's okay. So yeah, we can use the flags in this one. Uh, so the flags are going to check. So this is going to... So that is the vertical movement. Okay, so I think the delay is going to be the same, but then the frame it's not going to be like this. The frame is going to be, we increase one frame. If, uh, wait a minute. No, it's actually four frames because we need to go back. We need to go back. Mm -mm -mm, that was wrong then. So this one is use, but it's going to be the middle. So it's like this, the walk animation at the end. That's okay. That's okay. Cool. So that means that if frame equals, um, what do we do? Uh, do we have a, a something we can use here? Like, uh, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be only in the bat. So I'm going to do it like this. Okay. So. Oh, we can do uh, max frame. So whatever. I don't know why it's why in pulling those. Um, one delay that's fine. Yeah, because it's going to be, at least it's going to be for this one. I don't want to, yeah, if I change for whatever reason, I decide to change the anime, the working cycle of the player, I don't want to have to change this as well. So, so we got over the limit, then we go back to zero. So that should animate the path properly. Now, collision detection is fine then change direction do we want to change direction like this yes and in flux probably as well and then left and right is fine the only thing we need to check is that So if it's blocked and we need to check not the feet, we're going to check in the middle. Maybe, or oh, maybe eight because, no, it has to be seven. So one point, we will check if that's enough. It's probably not, to be honest, but. So that's for X, for the horizontal now, for the vertical, 
and we go so down otherwise it's going to be up and it's going to be again the middle point and it's going to be it's going to be the the next pixel to the end of the sprite this up y flags down then middle point minus one so this should be it so again a lot of comments for no reason okay so now we need to add that to the map important which is basically saying path in here and going here we're going to get one of the snakes and we're going to change it into a path and that's probably it it's not flax What did I call it? Flag. Hmm. I'm going to call it flags now. All right. Uh, that's not what we wanted, is it? Okay, so we forgot, I forgot in the map, the code to respond, so it's naking it. And then we need to add the bat, right? Bat in it. And, and snake. Yeah, we need the bat as well. Okay, so that should do it. Ooh. Not really. It's also stuck, stuck in there. Anyway, um, let's fix the frames, shall we? So yeah, so it's 32. I'm not completely sure about the speed of the animation. Maybe being more frames doesn't have to be as slow as, as the snake, right? In fact, I think it's going to look better if it moves faster. It looks fine. Now the question is, why is getting it stuck in there? Uh, because it's flags. What we change when we bounce in there to start with. That looks okay. That's it. Doesn't it? I don't know. Uh, can we make it? Let's see if we look more bad if it moves faster there in the cycle. Yeah, probably. Actually, uh, it looks kind of funny. Uh, I have a bat here and I like how it moves. So, well, it's a vampire, not a bat. But, um, so, when it's flying, what is the. Oh, it's just. Is even half so it is even mm, 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 mm. 
So that's the delay. Do we do anything for any specific frame? No. So it can be even. So what I did here is one plus. Let's try that. It's, I mean, at the moment, it was, it was looking funny. No, that doesn't look good. Oh, oh yes, does it look more like a bat now? It's probably too fast. It's too fast. So, uh, how much is wall delay, by the way? It's eight. So, it has to be two, otherwise, we're going back to the same, right? Yeah, it looks nice like that. And also, I like that it kind of goes, you can get into a narrow gap and it's not going to bounce up and down so i like that so let's make uh, some changes here let's add more bats and less snakes i mean the collection detection is going to be the same so we don't need to do anything special we still want to try it okay so do we have any bat going? Yeah, okay, so this bat is going to start moving to the left. This one here. I see that's true. Yeah, it does. Cool. Oh, well, I didn't want to do that. Mm, can I find a bat to kill me, please? <laughs> yeah, it works just fine. Yeah. Okay, so the question is, is that a good bat? I am happy with the bat. I think I am. I mean, it's a very simple enemy, to be honest. Um, I'm not sure the sprite looks as good as I was expecting, to be honest. Um, because... I'm not completely sure. Um, could it be better like this? Now the original button is looking better. Yeah, but the eyes don't look great. That maybe it needs a little bit more. Or maybe it's the color. A little more contrast, contrast perhaps. Yeah, a little bit better, but it's definitely not looking good is this here that is not looking good it's very distracting um i see Yeah, much better, because now the eyes is what is actually calling the attention, right? Yeah. It looks like a bat. I'm not sure if it's going to be a super fun enemy. It depends. We probably need to... I probably need to play with the level design a little bit.
makes it look weird sometimes. Nah, I think it's fine. There you go. Okay, so that's the plan enemy. So let's add that. Mm, okay. There you go. Uh, so let's take a quick look. Uh, we don't care about this one or this one. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much, it's very straightforward, really. Yeah, it's very straightforward. And uh, yeah, that one. Yeah, I think I prefer flags than flag. And this is adding it to the menu. Sorry, to the map. Yeah, that's important. So. Okay, so that's one of the things I wanted to do. Um, which is not too bad. Let's play with the pickups. Um, how do we do the pickups? I think um, I think we can because the pickups. What are the pickups going to do? I think we can have one entity that's going to be the pickup. Um, okay, so, okay, so let's add some pickups here, for example, let's add here, um, what was the pickups, extra time, let's call it time. So let's let's add one and then we go from there but i think we're going to put them together so we're going to put them together so we're going to have pickups and we're going to have um all them together pick up pick ups pick up time pick up so pick up pick up pick up time in it and we're going to use the same update i think for all of them and we can use the flag to tell which which one it is is that true or not um I don't know. I don't want to have a different file for each pickup because they're going to be essentially the same. Uh, well, is that true? Well, no, because the, the bonuses, the, the gems are going to have a special animation. So that's one thing. But other than that, you're going to pick them up and they're going to do a slightly different effect. So this the clock is going to reset the time. Uh, the, the gems are going to give you extra points. The pickaxe is going to give you invulnerability of one hit. Um, so they are going to be pretty much the same. It's only these ones that have a different kind of animation. Actually, do I want to do that animation? I still don't know because I'm still unsure if I'm going to be able to do the effect in the gold pieces. So do I want to have this effect only one type of... Mm. I don't know, let's do the time and we can go from there. So um, what have I... 
So that's basically the basics. Now we need to add the pickups, um, the actual code. So let's do that. And let's copy the bat, for example. Yeah, is it worth looking the bat? Nah, let's do the snake again. So it's going to be pickup. And that was pickup.c. And this is the same. So so pick up and pick up. Um so pick up time in it has to be slightly different and then one pickup update we will have an entity for each and we can go from there I think so pick up time in it what do we do here We can do pick up time zero and then bonus pick up pickaxe what else do we have? I just forgot. Yeah, so time pickaxe and the keys the keys i'm going to leave them for now because the keys are going to be a different completely different thing uh, okay we can do that uh, i mean is this going to be a coma right I don't know C anymore. So, uh, and this is going to be pick up type. Which it really doesn't matter because I'm not going to use that for anything. Um, but that's okay. So, frames. And here is when it's going to be a little bit annoying because I'm going to have. Not necessarily. This can be quite. This can be quite cool, actually, because we have one, two, three. Oh, we have five. Mm, damn it. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, so. Not you. Okay, so let's do the time first, which is going to be what? 8016, right? Eighty sixteen. So this is time. Um so yeah. Let's let's do time first. So pick up time in it. We set the frames and in frame we can say basically zero. And in flux pick up time and then pick up update it will be the same for everybody so we don't need to do anything other than in pick up update if there is player collection collision then we do the effect which is going to be switch and it's going to be 
uh, a flat and the case pickup time and we do the effect whatever it is uh, so for the effect of the time we need to do um, in game we probably need to do something like press time sorry time it was max um now how, how, how does it work and remember, it was like a little bit some time ago. Uh, so, time, game time max. Wow. Uh, and then we do. It does, this is not correct. We also need to update the clock, right? So we need to do this and then how do we update the clock? Um, I guess we need to do a timer start again, right? And yeah, we need to do the time, time max, so it updates immediately. That's fine. So this is going to be that's the time. Um, what did I call it? Pick up. Pick up. Dot C. Pick up the H. What? Uh, what did I do? What are you talking about? Oh, because there is an error in. Okay, okay. Yeah, we see what's going on. Um, so. What I'm doing wrong here? So in function recent time. Oh, sorry, my bad. It's actually yeah, because I copied the other one. Okay. So there is something I did. It's not oh because I just. Not even typing properly today. So, ah. close enough, but not really. And <laughs> what is that? In map. So, total disaster. Okay. Okay, so it's complaining about things. Pick a time on the clock, on the clear, because I did exactly the same. Um, okay, we need to call reset time which is in game. So. And also, this is absolutely wrong. And I think we have done this mistake in the snake. Right? Mm.
in the path. Okay. Okay, so it shows the clock and gives me stuff. Okay, so it's kind of working. This is not what I wanted to do, but it's fine um, for now. So, and then we need to do the entity use is zero. So that will make the entity disappear. So we are essentially picking it up. So yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh... So it's not great because I think um, what? what's going on here. I think it's because, yeah, it is better now, right? It's still going to change very quickly, but it's fine. Cool, cool. So that's rest, doing the rest of the time. Um, so that is essentially how. That's essentially how the pickups are going to work. But it's not exactly what I wanted to do. So, but I'm going to add the others because they're going to work essentially sa the same. This is going to be a slightly different effect, so let's add some more. So, so pick up bonus, and the frame is going to be. We have three, three here, right? But it's not cool because we're going to have animation for those right so i don't like it uh, let's do let's do it like this so gold key and the silver key that is one, two, three, and four. And these are really no use. I was trying to do it differently, but I don't think it makes sense. Um, now, the problem is if I want to do the animation, I'm going to need a different set of frames for each of these. So... not super convinced that this is worth it i don't know what should we be doing uh, let's do the bonus zero uh and we can think what next uh, sorry not that one so it's going to be 048 So it's going to be 48 over Oops I mean it's going to be fine It's just that, you know Problem is we are sometimes A little bit lazy Right okay, so the And it's going to be fine. And it's going to look nice. 
or maybe not maybe it's a lot of work and then i realize that it's not as nice maybe i should commit the time before committing to do this but I think it's going to be fine. We can keep it. I'm most sure. So now the height on this one is going to be 64, of course. The other one is. And it's going to be. Now this one is going to be started on here, which is starting on 64. So 64 uh, is going to be, what do we say? Uh, 80, 96, 100, and 12. Okay, so those are the frames of the bonuses, and we can do so. We can do uh... and it's going to be. Is this correct? Uh, no, because I just broke something. What did I broke? Yeah. I did a copy. Yeah. Include the comma, so that's broken. And okay, define use. Uh, use okay, the five are not used. Then that's absolutely fine. I'm not sure about the const. To be honest, but this is about right, I think. So basically, um, because we have so we have three different uh, animations, so the three different sprites for different types of bonuses, but they are going to be exactly the same. So what we can do is um we can just choose one randomly so bonus in it so the frame is going to be the call the frame bonuses ah yes it's here so it's going to be So where is run defined please in the standard league? Thank you. Yeah, standard league. So basically we choose randomly one of them, then we get the frames and it's going to be frame zero for now. Then the pickup is going to be bonus because it's going to be exactly the same. And pickup update. And in pickup update, we do case bonus and then add a score. Whatever. Uh, did I add the bonus at the end? No, I didn't add the bonus to the map. That's why we don't see it. So we can say here bonus. And we can actually have some of them. Uh, although it really doesn't matter because we should see a different one every time, right? So.
So that should add some bonuses on the screen. Oh no, it crashed. Ha ha ha. Excellent. Uh, what? Oh. Uh, the map, right? We didn't add that. Pick up. And yeah, it's because in here we need to add the one for the bonus, right? All right, so that has the bonuses and it gives the points. Well, that's it, really. This one gives the time. Um, okay, but that's not what I wanted. I know. All this work, something that I didn't want. Oh, that explains everything. It's because I've been typing this wrong all the time. <laughs> yes, please. Pick up, pick up, okay. Um, so. Okay, so. Yes, there was nobody to tell me that I was making a typo, so. Have to live with it. I mean, it's the randomness. It's kind of random, so we get different gems. That's fine. Okay, so why I did I say that this is not what I like? Because that's not what I want. I want the bonuses to appear on the screen as the game is happening. So we know that delay is zero. Um, we can do, for example, delay equals what? For example, like this. So that will set a value and if we can do this. Uh, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. Okay, so what I want to do is I want the pickup to appear after a while and then after some seconds it will disappear so there is a challenge you need to pick up the bonuses during that period of time right so what can we do about that so i was thinking do, 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 do. we can just have a delay so we can say okay so at least the time that we want it to be so how long do i want it to be because this is frames by the way this is not seconds so i guess hmm, can we convert that into seconds so we know that it's what it was 54 yeah that's exactly 18 so 18 is a second right so we can say we want it to be for example 10 seconds right okay let's use some constant because otherwise it's going to be a pain 
so max screen time is going to be in frames so it's going to be this multiplied by seconds so that would be 10 seconds right uh okay 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 so we can do uh max screen time and i guess yeah max screen time plus then how much do we want to wait right um so i guess yeah, I'm trying to think. I don't want it to disappear just when the time runs out. I would probably want to make see it disappear sooner than that. So I will say Okay. So max screen time. Uh Base time can be, for example, two seconds. So we get two seconds and then we define a random time. Uh, that can be, <laughs> I don't know maybe so that will be 12 seconds right so we can add 40 maybe and so that means it's going to be 18 sorry it's going to be 18 two times okay so it's 18 by 2 plus 10 plus 40 so that's not going to beat in delay which is only a byte uh, we can increase delay that shouldn't have any consequences okay well let's try that so base time plus master screen time plus random of uh, and this is going to be the same for all of them unless there is any reason to make a change right so and then what we're going to do is so it delay And now I need to think about what I'm doing here because I'm not completely sure. Um, okay, so so this is not true. If delay is less than, so it has to be more than base time. No, that's not true. Uh, <laughs> I'm making it too complicated. I'm tired. I'm not sure what I'm doing right now. But we will get there. Okay, so... If it's, we get to the random time, so if it's less than base time and the master screen time, then this is valid. If, it's less than base time, then we have to disappear. we didn't get the, the item mm, maybe 
but then we won't we don't want to draw these all the time right so it's it's a little bit too complicated like this i think i'm going to do it differently let's do it differently um instead of splitting all this stuff uh I mean, it's still, it's not a bad idea, but it's going to be too complicated because I want to make an animation for it to get in. So I think it's better if, because also the entity system. So the entity system um, doesn't have So in the player, we have some control on how we draw, but not in the entities. So, which is a little bit of bad at the moment. Uh, because I want the entity to be there, but I don't want the entity to draw anything on the screen. We currently can't do that unless... Unless... We do something awful, like, for example, this one, um, which is 6448. <sighs> I don't like it. I mean, as it is, it is essential, right? So that's that's the end what we're going to get. Let's do the animation of the bonuses. And then I think what we need is an effect. So basically we need an entity that is an effect that what it's going to do is do this uh, potentially wait do that and then spawn the object and it's going to be clean. I think I think it's going to be clean and this I'm not sure if I'm going to use it so I'm keeping it around because I don't want to okay so let's move this one so the first frame is going to be invisible yeah 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 it's going to be okay like that okay so Let's do the animation of the bonuses. Hey, hello, Racing the Bean. I was missing you already. I was wondering what was going on. Are you okay? Flags equals to pick up bonus. So I guess um yeah we know we we do the all good just relaxing. Well um I have added I added an enemy, the bat, and now I'm working on the pickups, but I'm kind of getting myself in a hole and hopefully I can get out of that hole instead of making the hole bigger so yeah i'm doing the big the pickups um which they are kind of working um but that is something i don't really want to do uh i want to do it in a different way and i didn't plan it so i'm kind of getting a bit stuck but it will be okay i think so so if it's a pickup bonus then if Let's do delay minus if how do we do in the delay for the frames? So let's look at the bat for example and use the same. Okay, so we're going up, which is fine because it means that if we start with zero, perfect. Let's do that. It's exactly this one. 
the only difference is that um so let's have a so max bonus frame is four right did we say it was four so max bonus frame and just like this um that should work but it's, i'm not going to like it so um what did i do wrong uh because i keep swapping two letters which is okay but it's not what i wanted uh, and it's not what I wanted because let's do let's do something yeah so because I want to the first frame to last longer so we can do if If E frame equals zero and delay equals plus two. And that's it. So okay, cool. But that should make it look more what I wanted, right? This is still not enough. Uh, we can just make it super big. Okay. To be. <laughs> to be. Yeah, yeah, I think it's fine. So that gives me time. Nothing has changed. Cool. Um, so the pickups are essentially that, really. Um, but it's not exactly what I wanted because I want I want to delay where, how they appear, really. Uh, and I want to give them. Well, we can do the. You know, ma the time to live, right? So we can say. Um, And we know it's going to be 18 frames is a second. So so max DDL, and then we can do yeah, but we're using delay here for the animation, right? That kind of sucks. What can we do about that? Mm. I'm thinking perhaps um, what? Uh, 
because we did it, we're using the delay for the bonus, right? Mm. There is anything we can reuse here that we're not using. We're using the frame. We can't reduce direction. Um, We can use used. <laughs> It'd be funny, but why not? So we can say which is kind of okay. Why not? We can do whatever we want. And it's not too crazy. So here, what we can do is and that will give it time to leave, right? That was not 10 seconds. Was it 10 seconds? No, it wasn't. It was more like three seconds. Uh, it's not the timer updated. Uh, oh no. Oh no, that's the timer, but that's how much is BG, the BGA updating. So we need to do some silly calculations here, like, I don't know, 64. Because that depends on the so it's frames of the BGA V-Sync. So that's 64. Not enough. 128. It's not going to be enough because we check already. So it probably has to be all we can really. It's just five seconds. It's not enough. Um, that's not good. It's not enough, is it? I mean, it was a good idea, but we can use that. So... We can have a general purpose counter. And we can say... Something like that. And then... Yeah, we can use... Uh... be done with it uh what i'm doing right now uh what what's complaining about that oh signal okay 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 so this has to be we need to say what it is right something like this Ah, but counter is 16. Oh, sorry. Huh? What is it doing now? Oh, because, yeah, 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 yeah. We need to stop dealing with that.
yeah okay so that was more or less like like uh 13 seconds no no it was more than that uh no it was uh it was 43 when it went out so 17 seconds yeah it's okay Yeah, 18 seconds, it's kind of okay. Cool, uh, okay, fine, I'm happy with that. So, yeah, it's not great, is it? Anyway. Okay, so let's do, we need effects. We need effects. More entities, please. Um, let's copy the snake again and let's do it better. Or no? Okay. So... So... Let's do... I think it's going to be okay. So this is an effect. This is never going to be in the map. So, uh, which means that the interface is going to be different. So, for example, let's look at the pickup. So, it's going to be effect in it. But okay, it's going to be the same. <laughs> well, it's not going to be the same. Okay, it's not going to be exactly the same as in. Ah, seeing and what type of effect is going to be? Uh, it's going to be effect out. Okay, so I need to copy some stuff. Yeah, it was probably better to uh, to do it the way I was doing it before, like copying the snake. But anyway, um, so we are going to do, I mean, this one doesn't need this one and doesn't need this one either. Uh, yeah, no, that's not true. It needs entities for sure. Okay, so we need BGA, we need entities. Do we need BGA though? For what? This is not drawing anything. Um, Oh, for the wreck. <laughs> it definitely needs VGA. Okay, so VGA entities and then... Include effect as well. <laughs> so it's going to be very simple. Well, we have to do it. And we're going to need the frames as well. Although we're going to use only two of them. So two of them. No, that's not true. Uh no, it's going to be three. I think because we're going to start with the invisible one and that's going to help us do the when we get in the frame so 96 um, 
96 16 Okay, so uh, 112 and 128. Okay, so that was the phrase of the fact. So the fact, the fact in it, uh, for the out, we're going to get the same. So it's going to say, get the same information we got from the so we're going to convert an entity into effect out, right? So frames is going to be, you know, or frames. And because it's going to be out, it's going to be starting in two. So we're going to do two, one, and then we go. Um, and then we need to date. Date. It's going to effect out. Oh man, so bad. Okay, so effect out and the effect. The only thing it's going to do is to play the animation. So um, let's look, for example, the bat, because it's one example of increasing the frame. So we do this. That's the only thing it's going to do. Um, in this case, uh, the frame is going to go down. Then its frame is zero then we done we also need to set delay to zero by the way uh, because we are reusing an existing entity so anything that we don't need to reuse which is the x and y coordinates for example it has to change and the background we are saving and everything okay so now instead of saying here use zero we're going to include effects here include effect and we're going to do effect out in it and we're going to pass the entity we have here so And we probably need to call Okay, let's not call anything and see what happens. Do we need to call the update or maybe not? Okay, so E delay. Why is complaining about that? Uh, uh because I forgot things, of course. Okay, okay, okay. It's going to. It's looking good now. I think it's going to be fine. <laughs> yeah. What time is it? Yeah, I'm over the time I had allowed myself to do this. It's okay. I mean, it could reduce the time now. I probably should do it. Oh, let's... Okay, not too bad. Um, I need to try with less time. That's, it's too long, this. It's too long. Let's just... A little bit. Uh, there is something funny, isn't it? I 
I think we're using uh, frame. <laughs> ah, so close. So uh, the frame definition is wrong, obviously. So 96, 16. 96, 16. Then is 112, 16. And then 16 here, right? Yeah, I thought I, I saw something. And it's just the head of the player. All right. Uh, another thing that is wrong, it's a fade out, right? So it's one. So this is the one. So it's a fade out, so it has to be the other way. Um, so it's so it's zero, one, two, three. So it's three. What we say four, right? So it's three because in this case it's four. So we say three. So max frame, we go up. There. Look at that again. Uh, you say max frames on the pad. It was a bad, right? I was using that. You know, we call it max frame. Let's call it max frame. All right. So that should make it disappear nicely. Okay, um, and obviously when it's disappearing, we don't, we can touch it, but it's not doing anything because we have replaced the update function. Um, okay, so so let's go to the pickups, shall we? Um, That's fine. And we can set back to whatever number of seconds is this. Okay. That didn't change a lot, but fine. And obviously, I can walk around and nothing happens. I can pick it up, then it's gone. Okay, so that's the fade out. Mm. Now, let's do the fade in. It's going to be okay. I think it's going to work. So it's going to be fade in. And uh, we pass the entity. So... Um, do, 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 Okay, so the only problem I have, we have now, is that the frames are different depending on the entity. So, how can we manage that? Because I guess, uh, so for example, pick up time in it, um, this, who will be setting up stuff and then calling to effect in init. So effect in init could be doing its thing and then maybe it should be the other way around. Like effect in init and then we pass and we call the init or the pickup. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, 
Okay, so that. Yeah, I think we can, but then that means shall we do this in effect? Okay. I, I think we can leave the effect like this for now. We can leave this like this, but then pick up time in it has to do the effect. I don't know. And then it needs to keep what type of pickup it is. So we know that already. Yes, yes we can do this. Um, so let's do effect in update. Because this one has the frames, right? So this is the one we were doing the other way around. Right or not? Oh man, it really doesn't matter. Why are we going to do things complicated? In reality, all this stuff could be in here. But I guess it really doesn't matter. Nothing matters. It's, we can do whatever we want. So we can do here. So we can do frames in. So we can do frames in. Uh, the one that we change the order, right? I think it's going to be fine. So, frame is zero. It's going to be frame scene. Uh, and we have pick up in. I don't know. It's a terrible name. So this one keeps the time and it does all that and then it's a uh, pickup in update. So So it's going to be the same as this one. Well, not really, but bear with me a second. So this is going to be it's going to be pickup bonus, sorry. And we pick up pick up so pick up in update no we can do pick up in uh, And that's it. You can just do it, it, it split it, and it's going to be fine. So wait is basically how long are we going to wait? Did we add the counter? Yes. So we're going to use the counter, right? So counter is going to be zero. So counter 
is going to be... No, it has to be the other way around. We need to decrease counter. Why? Because... I want it to be random, right? So we do... So we can do... What? So a thousand plus a thousand and then so there it is. So that will be twenty something seconds. Twenty something seconds tops, right? So and we can do pick up wait to date. So pick a way to date, it will go down, and when it gets to zero, we set this to pick up in date. Then the pick up in date does the Thingy here and then basically Pick up time and pick up bonus. So pick up time, we said uh, no. Why I did this? Uh, yes, because we need to do this. But now it's going to be uh, frames, just frames, right? Is that 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 right? Yes. Is that right? And then... Store. And we don't need to send that frame course because... We don't need to send the, set the frame. It's going to be zero, uh, whatever. We need to set it here because uh, because we just did the animation, right? Um, and then the counter to disappear has to be set as well. In there. Uh, so in update and then it's going to set the update to be the final update so quick quick look at this so now what we add in the map is just going to wait uh... Oh man, and we need to send a counter, a counter. Jeez. Ah, okay, 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 okay. This is the counter that is going to be waiting here. Right. And the counter, this other counter we have here, it goes up. So we need to set the counter to zero here. There you go. That's going to do it. So basically, uh, yeah, so we set the frames to frame in. We're going to have the update function that is going to wait for a number of whatever. And in flux, we're going to keep what type of pickup is. When the counter gets to zero, then uh, we do the animation of uh, the effect of getting in, you know, the appearing the, the the pickup 
When that gets to the last frame, depending on the type of pickup, we set up things for the pickup itself. And when we're out, the fed out is whatever. I don't think we need to do the effect out now in a different place. To be honest. So, because we are already doing all... Um, okay, let's keep it for that. Yeah, of course, everything is kind of not right now. Yeah, I mean, reality could be in the same file, but... Uh, why is complaining about this? Uh, because I can... Okay, max frame. It's called fast frame. Kind of bad. Uh, okay, and the other one is complaining about this. A label. What do you mean? Can't do this here. Mm -hmm. uh, max frame. What, would, what did I wrote? Max frames, probably. No, not even, not even that. Can only be part of the statement. A declaration, not a statement. Okay. Mm, boo. Fine. Um. Why do have still ah because of the run okay so in reality this can be here this session has been a little bit of a, of a disaster I shouldn't have planned this beforehand but I mean if it works at the end I'm going to be happy and. I should have said that shorter for testing, right? There you go, one of them. Two of them. That one was wrong. <laughs> yeah, okay. So the fading animation is wrong. that it looks kind of okay right um, because because I reused max frame and that was a mistake so man max bonus frame is for I knew it was a mistake and still did it okay so the diamond is correct but I think for testing probably and actually we can do something like this here because so we don't have magic numbers right and we can make it smaller Testing. Oops. Yeah, that's cool. That's that's what was what I was looking for. Um, then I don't know if the time I put was good timing or not. Um, so 
So basically, you're playing the game, you're playing the stage, moving around, jumping, picking up things, uh, well, gold, because there's nothing else, and then there you go. Things appear. They're going to appear always on the same place, and that's by design, because otherwise, yeah, you can't really remember where things are. And if you don't learn and if everything is random, the game is never going to be fun. So you need to know or you should be able to learn where things appear on each screen. And that and I'm cleaning my glasses. And that's it's, it's just fine. I think. Now the question is, um, do I really want this effect here uh, for nothing? I am going to use that. I want it. Yeah, we're going to use that to make the doors disappear when you open them. So I'm going to keep it like that. Um, so let's do a quick review of the changes because I think um, it's been a little bit complicated to get it right, right? So the effect I think is fine. Uh, VG effects, three frames, uh, and this just effect out in need an update and it does the right thing so this one is very straightforward that looks okay we added the counter to measure time because um yeah i think I have used a bit for the ab games but it's different because this is updating more frequently i don't know what, what i did but it, it, i think yeah we need to use 16 bit there for that counter we can use delay anyway oh well you know uh, we need another counter anyway because delay is being used for animations anyway so reset timer that's when we get the time that's fine then yeah there you go for the map we added the time and the bonuses and the pickup is the one that is kind of more interesting so yeah we haven't implemented all of them um we can say these are to do i'm not going to finish them today those are to do i'm fine with that so the animation for the frame scene uh this is the actual frames of the pickups that don't have animation then for the bonuses that they have animations, I have three different groups of frames. Then, so now the way it works, when you need the, the, the pickup on the map, we set up everything for the frame scene with the delay and the counter. And we keep on flash what is the type of pickup keep on flash what is the type of pickup and then we wait and the wait the only thing it does is waiting we are painting this frame here that is basically invisible there's no paint no, it's not painting anything um because remember we can skip drawing with the entity system it's very simple and that, that's good but it means that for doesn't have flexibility um, then when the wait is finished, we go to the update, you know, when the in effect, the only thing it does is what we did in the out, but in reverse, because we changed the order of the frames. And, you know, when we finish the animation, depending on the flag and why did it do it like this here? Uh, because potentially why mm. oh because yeah because I knew there was going to be common things right Yeah. 
So yeah, uh, we basically change the frames and prepare the update function. The update function, you know, when we get to the max time to life, time to live of the pickups, we do the fade out, which is basically killing the entity. And, you know, the animation for the bonuses, that is kind of ugly to have it there, but they look fine. And, you know, we check with the player collision to say we pick them up and we apply the effect. This is just fine. This is too, let's not add anything. Okay. So we can make some changes in there. Let's have a quick look to see that it works as suspected and we can call it a day I mean it's just 45 minutes more than I was expecting but it was quite yeah there you go Looks very nice. Um, perhaps the time is the one that could take longer to appear. Perhaps uh, because it's the more sensitive, really. So, for example, now it was 45. So you only get 15. You know, you don't get that much time on that one. So So yeah, that's something to think about uh because um obviously in the time so if the extra time gets too early then it's not going to be as good, right? It's not going to be as, as useful. Yeah, I mean, I would prefer if I, if I could calculate time better, but that's unfortunate, I can't do that. So I guess... We can do this. So if I do three times, we get the maximum delay, right? So let's see how much is that. And that could be it. There's still some variability. Yeah, I think the, the bonuses are fine if they appear earlier. And the time... The limit is going to be... Yeah, the 20 seconds. That's kind of perfect. And it goes away when you have... seven seven six seven seconds left um yeah i like it that looks brilliant I and mean, it's going to be perfect okay so that will be the maximum um Okay, cool. And yeah, this is going to be all for today. Um, see you next time, probably Thursday. We can continue doing the missing pickups and if I have time and I draw another enemy, we can implement a slightly more complicated enemy because uh, the bat was very simple, right? Anyway, bye now. Bye, 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 bye.